Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hello, my little friend. Just a quick reminder, if you want to be in the cat club, talk to your guardian or your parents and make sure that you go to the link down below to become a patron so that you get your first three exclusive Heidi Cherry and Vea stories on the 7th of this month. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Lie down on your bed. Snuggle into your covers. Make sure everything is just right so that you can get sleepy and snuggly and cuddly. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were at the park. They were with their friend, Philip. Philip was a photographer for a magazine called Happy Pets and he'd asked the cats if they would do a photo shoot with him for next month's edition. The cats were very excited. They all had different ideas in their mind of different kind of pictures that would portray exactly who they were, their personalities, who they were, what they liked to do. Cherry was up first. She wanted a picture of herself in a tree as if she climbed the tree and she also wanted a picture of herself jumping off a rock in action mode, like mid-air jump. Philip agreed that he could probably do both of those and that they suited her personality extremely well. Cherry said, Yeah, I know, Philip, I know, because I'm so adventurous. I'm not like the quiet type. I'm not like, you know, stay at home, knitting, stay at home, you know, reading, doing something like that. That's just not me, Philip. It's just not me. My personality is outgoing, adventurous, fun-loving, kind, extremely funny. You know, I need to have some kind of photo that shows all of those things. And, of course, shows my lovely ginger coat. Because my lovely ginger coat is very, very shiny and very, 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 very healthy because of my diet. And because I take care of myself. Well, you know, what do you think? Do you think we should do the rock one first? First, I think we should do the tree one first, personally, because if I climb up that tree and you get me in a really cool pose on one of the branches, then I'll have already warmed up all of my limbs and I'll be very, very limber. And then I'll be ready to do like an awesome star jump or something off that giant rock over there. What do you think, Philip? Philip said, I agree. Let's do the tree pose first. Cherry started laughing. You know, Philip, if you do yoga, you would think that that was very, very funny, what you just said, because there's actually a tree pose. But I'm not going to do a tree pose, am I? I'm going to do a tree. Po pose? Yeah? Yeah, actually, Philip, I am, aren't I? <laughs> I'm going to do a pose in a tree. So you could say I'm going to do a tree pose. You know what would be really awesome, Philip? If I actually did the yoga tree pose in the tree. Yoga tree pose is when you stand up and you put your arms in your air, in the air and then you have like one of your, your legs. Or for me, it would be like a back leg. Uh, uh, and you, you bring it up to your groin and you stand in a balancing pose and it's called a tree pose. And you know, you look like a tree. I'm going to do that. I'm going to climb up this tree right now, Philip. All right, so if you feel free to take photos of me looking like cool in any other positions, that's fine. You just go ahead. Start click, 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 clicking because I'm ready every shot. You just let me know and I'll pause every shot because I watch a lot of uh, modeling competitions and things like that because, you know, I think I could be a model because I'm so gorgeous and I'm so confident and I'm so awesome that, yeah, I could be a model if I wanted to. So you just say, Philip, say, stop, and I'll pause. Stop, and I'll just pause. I pause after pause after pause after pause. I've got so many pauses. Don't you worry. Cherry started to climb up the tree. Philip shouted stop here and there, and she stopped and posed and did some awesome poses, I must admit. And then she got to the branch that she thought would be perfect to do a tree pose in. Are you ready, Philip? Cherry said. Philip said he was ready. Right, 
After three. Let me get in the pose. Let me get in the tree pose. Let me get my balance. She tried like two or three times and then she got it perfectly. And Philip snapped away and got some awesome shots of Cherry in a tree pose in a tree. <laughs> How cool is that? Then she climbed down. She got on the big rock that wasn't too far away, ready for the next photo. Now, Philip, said Cherry, whenever you're ready, I'm seeing this in my mind, in my creative, visual mind. Right now, I can see myself doing like a star-shaped jump. I'm going to jump up and I'm going to look like a flying squirrel. And when I do that, that's when you take the photo. And at the same time, I'm going to try and pull my nicest smile. The smile that would win any magazine competition. That smile is going to sell so many copies of Happy Pets. You just watch. All right. First of all, though, I think I'd like to do a practice run. Cherry did a couple of jumps up in the air. Practice runs. She was going to do it perfect. There was no need for a practice run. I think I'm ready, she said to Philip. Philip said, right, go. As he said, go. She jumped up as high as she possibly could in the air and out towards the grass in a flying squirrel type star jump shape with the cheesiest, happiest smile. She even managed to wink, bless her. It was such a good photo. Philip said, that's it. That's all we need. You did absolutely amazing. Thank you, Cherry. Cherry pushed her whiskers back on her face as if to say, yes, I know. And then... It was Vea's turn. Vea wanted to lay in a field of flowers in her most favourite princess dress. She had on a blue dress that looked awesome with the blue sky in the background. She had a tiara on, blue gloves, blue shoes, even a blue princess pouch, which was like a little princess bag that she had things in like lip gloss and um, a little comb that she could brush her hair with because Faye is white and very fluffy and she gets knotted sometimes so she brushed out all of her fur so it looked soft and fluffy in the in the wind and the wind was blowing the flowers and she was laid in a field of daisies and buttercups and she looked awesome she looked so beautiful Vaya said me thinks this 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 just suits my personality so well, don't you, Philip? Philip agreed. You look beautiful, Vea. This is perfect. Vea did maybe ten, ten or fifteen different poses as she laid down in the flowers. And that was it. She was done. They were all so good at this. Then it was Heidi's turn. Heidi had brought some books with her. She wanted to be just perched against a tree, you know, like as if she was leaning against a tree on a summer's day. She had her red glasses upside down, her red glasses on, and she thought that they would look very stunning with the red book that she was holding. She wanted to read as if she was reading in her pictures because this depicted her personality to a T. She loved to read and learn. As we all know, Heidi was super, super smart and she wanted all of the world to know that. She said to Philip, how does this look? She had her legs crossed. She was holding the book. She was looking down at the book, but then looking over her glasses as if to say, here I am reading my book and I look very, very smart. Philip said, that is perfect, Heidi. Just do that. He took like three or four pictures. Then she said, what about this? She held one of her paws up under her chin as if to say, Hmm, I'm thinking about what I've just read. And she stared directly at Philip's camera. (gasps) Perfect, said Philip. Perfect shot. He took another couple of pictures. Then she said, what about this? She laid on her tummy with her book like she was reading her book. And she kicked out her legs at the back as if it was just a lovely warm day on the grass reading her book. Like she was just laying on a picnic blanket or something, you know, casually reading in the middle of the park. It was a perfect shot. When he'd done, he showed the cats his favourite shots on his camera, said he was going to edit them, change the lighting just a little bit. None of them needed to be, you know, 
put filters on or anything like that because the cats did so good and they were all so naturally beautiful. He was going to send them the pictures in a couple of days so that they could look at them themselves, but he thinks he had the best shots that he'd taken for such a long time. They were awesome models and they did it so naturally and so easily. Cherry said, well, what do you expect, Philip? I mean, we are awesome. Look at us. Heidi is like the smartest cat I've ever, ever known. Thea is like just the natural born princess. And I bet she looks so beautiful in those flowers. And me, you know me, I'm just an action kind of gal. I like to jump. I like to climb. I like to do things. And you got that perfectly, I bet, in all of those photos that you took. I know that you took more photos of me because I'm a little bit more awesome than Thea and a little bit more awesome than Heidi. But we don't I have to tell them that do we and don't worry if I'm on the front cover of the, the magazine and, and they aren't don't worry Philip actually took a couple of pictures of the cats all together and he was thinking one of those pictures would be awesome on the front cover of the magazine but he didn't say that to Cherry either way Cherry would probably feel very very famous if she was on the front cover alone or with her sisters it wouldn't matter the fact is she's on the front cover that would be all that mattered to Cherry anyway. When they went home, they showered up, had something to eat, and then snuggled down on their big, comfortable bed. They talked about how they loved having their photo took. They loved Philip, he was a brilliant photographer and a really good friend, and they were all happy to help him. And of course, Cherry would be very, very happy if they became famous even more famous than what they were. And as you know, they were pretty famous anyway, right? Everyone loved the cats. Everyone loves Heidi, Cherry and Vea. The End